Mission specific training received by this unit is meant to provide them with requisite skills to enable them to operate under prevailing conditions in Mali in the most professional manner. I am happy this morning to state that the troops of number 8, Laboratory of Two, have undergone the four phases of the pre retirement training in the last three weeks. The first one, which was the technical aspect involved weapon training, basic military skills, and land training. In phase two, the troops were exposed to United Nations specific peacekeeping training, which covered core pre deployment training materials. It also covered relevant lessons in some standardized training materials, including cross-cutting thematic issues like protection of civilians, complete related sexual violence, child protection, and sexual exploitation and abuse. During the first three aspects of the training, the troop went through mission-specific training, which was undertaken to impact practical knowledge on mission environment, mandates, tax, cultures of the host nation, and other specific training, such as rules of engagement through scenario-based exercises. Finally, the first one involved the integrated training, which brings together all theoretical lessons to enhance decision-making within the unit and visualization of the real mission conditions. As such, the troops underwent through a field training exercises emphasizing on casualty evacuation, management of medical supplies, and provision of material services in general. I'm glad to observe that the remarkable progress achieved by these troops since the arrival at the center the leadership qualities exhibited by the officers and level of enthusiasm and cohesion shown by the soldiers are very much encouraging. I hope this will reflect positively on the, on the conduct of the unit in the theater of operation in Mali. Let me also use this unique opportunity to remind the commanding officer and soldiers of this unit continue work hard to improve on the skills they have been imbibed while on training in this center. These skills are prerequisite for success as a unit and for the positive progression of the image of Nigerian forces and their idea country, Nigeria. As you are here today, you must always remember the confidence reports in you as ambassadors of the airports of Nigeria in particular and our dear nation Nigeria in general. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir.